We live in exciting times, where the vast distances we face are just numbers, and the information we share with each other can cross the globe in the time that it takes you to blink. With the exponential growth of information sharing, it's critical that the infrastructure that connects us can support the economic and social benefits that our increasingly digital lives rely upon. The march to our digital future continues to consume data at a massive rate. This spurred the development of the Vocus Australia Singapore Cable. With careful study of the predicted future bandwidth growth, and consulting with key customers, Vocus set about starting the arduous task of proving the viability of a next-generation submarine cable system, which would prove the capacity to meet the explosive demand for greater bandwidth. We analysed a lot about the data and where the traffic would be in demand and looked at the existing submarine networks out of Australia. What was evident was that no one was really looking at the trend of massive growth in the bandwidth requirements flowing up and through the growing socio-economic powerhouses in the Asian region. And with the existing cable system from the west coast of Australia end of life, lacking reliability and at capacity, a window of opportunity opened up. Our early planning took into account the requirement to build a technologically advanced subsea fibre optic cable, but it also had to pass through some of the most heavily trafficked sea lanes in the world which compromise the reliability of other subsea fibre optic cables in the region. During feasibility, we identified and worked with Excel Axiata to link into the rapidly growing Indonesian economy on the path to Singapore. And during design, we were approached to connect to the remote Australian territory of Christmas Island, which was at that point only being serviced by limited satellite infrastructure. Plans for the ASC had to carefully balance cost and be configured for scaling to meet future demand. The cable itself is a fantastic feat. It starts in Singapore and tracks south via two en route landing stations in Indonesia and Christmas Island at depths of up to six kilometers. And after a 4,600 kilometer journey, lands in Perth, Western Australia. But the journey doesn't end there. From Perth, the cable system links to Vocus Communications' extensive national fibre optic network, which spans tens of thousands of kilometres, to offer Australian businesses a truly diverse path to Asia and onwards to the United States. There were also a number of innovations involved when creating the cable system, including deep trenching for protection in high-risk areas and sophisticated armoured casing to shield the cable against any potential shipping damage. With the Australia-Singapore cable now in service, we at Vocus have an exciting opportunity to better meet the needs of Australian and Asian companies, particularly regarding the marked improvement in latency relative to comparable routes from Sydney to Singapore. And we also have the speed and the flexibility to cater for the diverse needs of customers through dedicated ASC services such as Waveline, or for customers who want the most direct connections to globally valuable Asian content networks. With the massive boost to connectivity for everyday internet users, the ASC will offer a resilient service to meet the needs of our business, our customers, and the wider nation as the digital world continues to revolutionize commerce and how we connect with each other.